players scored top four at Frostbite earlier, you know. With, uh, it, it, people were thinking that Salem was like the top dog in terms of Bayonetta, but lately we've been seeing Tweak and Mistake outplacing him. He's going to be playing off against Gabe Sonic. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into it here. You know, it, I really like the Sonic and Bayonetta matchup. You know, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Salem doesn't think too highly of it. You know, he thinks that it's very much a Bayonetta's favorite, but I think, you know, Sonic certainly has the tools, obviously, to get in and stay in. You know, his combo game starts out from a lot of grabs, and I think that's something like in the last match that can really get underneath Bayonetta's skin at times. Well, both these characters are just really good at the punish game. Mm -hmm. You know, Sonic can punish you from like a mile away because of his quick speed. The one of the fastest, the fastest character in the game in terms of moving speed. Yes, yes. Yeah, there absolutely. Go. Yeah, absolutely. Foot speed. You know, the Sonic is certainly unmatched. And like Muhammad Ali said, you know, you just cannot hit with your eyes, cannot see. Okay. okay Blue streak speeds by, man, as he tries to get back down to the ground. Goes for the spin dash again. You know, the difference between the spin dash and the spin charge is the, that little hop at the end. You know, the spin dash being the little hop. Has a little bit of invincibility on there, so you'll see that a lot coming from Gabe. Trying to abuse that invincibility to try to get into all these gunfires and these bullets coming from Mistake. There it is. Okay, trying to take him way off stage there. I like that. Going as low as possible, but, you know, being able to recover low and snap onto the ledge is going to be a tool and an asset very much needed here to try to combat Bayonetta. Oh, okay. Very scary position to be in. Catches the back air and wins time, and then the up smash seals the deal. I always like to think that Mistake is one of the crazy Bayonettas that just loves to throw out smash attacks. Yes. Like, because he gets away with it. He looks for, like, these huge reads, and he's just like, you're going to land right here, and here comes the giant fist. You know, you're, you're going to get hit by it. You're going to get sent flying. Every time. Oh, 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 my no. God. Almost got sent up to the top from three witch twists. That was actually out of control. And then using the quarter circle afterburner kick to get back to stage uh, very quickly, you know, even before Gabe could, so that way Gabe could not get there and punish the, the landing lag. Okay, snaps ledge. There's the. Oh my goodness. Okay, try to go for a ledge trap and then uh, convert into a down smash. A little bit off the mark there. Okay, I, I, I dig that. Trying to go for the spin dash into the forward air conversion up there and just sends him down flying with that down air. Where did he go, dude? He dropped the leg on him and sent him to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Incredible. Too fast for the naked eye. Gets flown down to the blast zone incredibly quickly. I'm telling you, if you would have blinked, you certainly would have missed that last little conversion piece right there. I'm glad, I'm glad my eyes were wide open. I, I was woke in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm awake right now, man. Going into game number two. See what counter pick we got coming from Gabe. You know, I, I felt like there's just a lot of times where Gabe just didn't have the stage control that he was looking for. Like, There's so many times where he was just in the air. Yes, it, it's really hard to get stage control versus Bayonetta. You know, very slippery character. She can be everywhere at once, and wherever she can't be physically, she can most certainly be there with her projectiles. Okay. You know, and even though Sonic ran out of double jumps there, Gabe was able to use his up special to get back onto the stage. Yep. It, it doesn't too mad, matter too much for Sonic because his up special is so good. Uh -oh. The spring jump just sends him flying. Okay, good stuff there by mistake. Avoiding the landing lag at all costs. Gets back to the ledge of the stage. Oh, catches the up. Are you are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And, you know, the difference between this Bayonet and other two that we've seen before is that he loves the directional pad. We're going to see some taunts in this game. Yeah, that is definitely the mistake classic, man. I mean, you're asking if they're kidding me, man. He's not joking around. He wants to get rid of this match ASAP and just move on in the bracket. There we go. See if Gabe can put up a fight here. Okay. And just have a little collision. Ooh, catches him with the heel slide. Yeah, we got to talk about this, the sliding heel kick in general. You know, a lot of Bayonetta, oh, like no. it's not one of the best, one of the better tools that Bayonetta has, but it's working out very, very well here for Mistake. Gabe really struggling here. The light into the tunnel certainly starting to get dim. Let's see if he can try to pull something crazy out of his pocket. I mean, that was pretty crazy. He just ran right past him. They went for the heel slide just to try to, you know, bait him out. Instead of just going directly for the heel slide. You saw him trying to attempt to go for the jab lock. It just, it just did not connect. Oh, if at first you don't succeed, try try again. And I think it was actually a little early on the trigger there that time. Under saying that he's not going to be able to snap ledge after the second up special. Mm. Well, what happened there, I, I think, was that Gabe was trying to mix up his timing and when to come back. Because he saw that mistake wanted the down smash so badly. Right. Okay, kind of hanging out right now, planking the left side, of, or excuse me, the right side of the stage. I like that, but you can't Yo, hang out forever. He told him, do it again. I swear, do it again. I have a forward smash waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 131%. Obviously, a lot of ground to make up here, but, you know, Sonic can do some very interesting things with a little bit of raise and just a little bit of precision. Okay, starting to bait out air dodges more. I see him running in circles, not trying to approach Mistake. You saw him going for the witch time, expecting it. Look, he's actually just... I feel like he's like in a Sonic cartoon. Currently, <laughs> like, just running circles around Eggman. 
Oh, there we go. Just one down tilt leads into the up air. We see him taunting, but no death. Great DI from Gabe, sitting at maximum range at 150%. And thank God she could cancel out of those uh, taunts, Taunt. because she was certainly in, in for uh, some trouble had that been a different character. Okay, tries to go for another jab lock situation again, but Mistake just always on the money there with those techs. Okay, not that time, no. Gets him off stage. Here we go. Oh, fourth throw. Yeah, That's that might be kill. enough to do it. Gabe was starting to get momentum there at the end. It looks like he found his Chaos Emerald, but Mistake just denied it completely. And that, I mean, that was the end of that match, dude. Mistake was, did a phenomenal job.